I came out to a lovely site, delivery day, for some special new goodies for the truck. Let's open up one of these boxes and see what we got. Time for a little unboxing. Ugh. This is hard to do one handed, but we're doing it. Oh, what does that say? Let's get to the right here. Oh, method race wheels. How about that? Hmm. All right. Well, this is exciting. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, it's wrapped nicely, huh? Everybody's familiar with Method. They need no introduction. But these will be going on the Raptor. And without further ado, ooh, so wrapped so nicely. Boom! Very cool. These are the Baja Blue. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Baja spelled cleverly with an H. Method wheels. So neat. It's going to tie into the blue theme of this truck. I've kind of went all in on that theme. Oh, those are nice and heavy. Holy moly. Sweet. Super excited to get those on the truck. Awesome. And these are going to be zero offset. Uh, with the new suspension, they need to go to a zero offset wheel uh, in order to just have a little more clearance there. I was getting a little rubbing uh, with the positive offset on my uh, current stock wheels, and it's time to move on to some zero offset wheels. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Brad. I go by the Whalen, and this is my vlog on Truck Venture. And if you've been following me for the last year, you know that I'm on a quest to change this truck out to be the best possible pre-lander I can make it, which is that cross between a pre-runner and an overland vehicle. So like fast camping, basically. And uh, we've been doing some suspension work and ran into an issue that we probably should have predicted but didn't, and that is that I'm still running the OEM wheels on this truck. And uh, we are getting some rubbing uh, with the new suspension parts. So what that means is uh, I need to change out the wheels to a different offset. So we're going to go from a positive offset wheel to a zero offset wheel to bring that wheel out so that we can not have any rubbing. And I got a set of method race wheels. So we're going to put those on along with some new rubber on this thing uh, and uh, should have a different ride. And I'm pretty excited for it. So go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go get some wheels on this truck. New tires, new wheels getting thrown on right now. Super awesome, excited to see this new look on the truck. And I'm getting those wheels put on as we speak. We have boxes on boxes open here and I'm actually doing five wheels because uh, I got the spare this time too. So we're gonna mount the spare to the new tires, get that situated and then I'll have a full matching set for the new method wheels. I'm pretty stoked to see how this is gonna turn out. It's kind of a bold move to go blue on blue. We'll see if it looks as good as I hope. And in case anybody was wondering, there's a little fake out here because it looks like we've got uh, different wheels. It looks like these came in uh, 
Inkle, I think, or Inkly, Inkle, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, boxes, but they're actually Methods. Ha, surprise. I think they shipped them this way for extra protection. Uh, but yeah, in case anybody was wondering. Every part of my body. Light work. It's just like 70 to 80 pounds. All right, now it's time to back out of here. Pretty sweet, blue on blue. And I'm back home. The truck's looking super clean with these wheels on it. Well. The wheels are looking clean. The truck itself is pretty dirty, so we're gonna take care of that right now. Okay, so inspired by my clean, pristine new wheels, I'm gonna wash the truck. And while I'm at it, I am going to clean up my old suspension and my old tires and wheels because, uh, yeah, I might have a buyer for this stuff. Check this out. This is the OEM spare tire that may have been pulled out all of two times and never put on the truck. Uh, pretty dirty. It's probably, well, that's four years worth of road grime there. A lot of trails and antics. Okay, we are looking at the driver's side suspension for the Raptor in the front of the truck. And I'm gonna talk about why I went to zero offset wheels. So you see this gap here. It's about an inch and a half more of a gap than it was with my OEM wheels. My OEM wheels were really snug against it to the point where I actually saw a little bit of tire mark on the top of the upper control arm. Not something you wanna see, definitely not something you wanna off-road with in that situation could be dangerous, so I limited the amount of driving I was doing in this truck, and I promptly ordered a set of zero offset wheels for the truck to make that clearance much greater, so we got a nice gap there in the suspension. For those that don't know to explain offset a little bit, if you had x-ray vision and you could see through this tire uh, to the wheel, you'd see a mounting point for the wheel, and on a positive offset, the mounting point's actually farther towards the road, therefore pushing the whole tire in because the uh, all the apparatus that connects has to travel through the tire to that far point to connect. And that's where I had the problem with all the being too close to the, the suspension parts. With a negative offset, the mounting point is actually closer to the vehicle, pushing the tire up, out towards the street more. And with a zero offset, the mounting point is directly down the center, which is what we went to. And as far as I've talked to other Raptor owners and looked in the forums and all of that, that is predominantly what people use for the Raptor aftermarket wheels is zero offset wheels. Give you that clearance in the suspension. The next day and I have a fresh clean truck with brand new wheels and tires to wake up to, which means I probably need to put a dose of dirt into this thing at some point in the future. But before I end the vlog, I wanted to talk about one thing that I forgot to mention. And that is, yes, I continue to go with 35 inch tires. I just don't think 37s are worth it. I know a lot of people just love the look of 37s on a Raptor, uh, but functionality wins out in this one. Uh, the amount of rubbing that I know that happens with 37s and the amount of trimming and customization you need to do to fit them, is just not worth it. Uh, it does a lot of wear and tear on the parts like the axle. You may even have to move the fender out uh, or get you know, glass, fiberglass fenders. I live in the Pacific Northwest, so I have tight trails already. I don't need to make this truck any wider than it is. Uh, and then also gas mileage, just a lot of different factors that just prohibit me from wanting to deal with that nonsense of a 37. So 35s it is for me. The other thing to point out, I had a little bit of a weird drama last night where I had realized that I lost a tire. <laughs> Uh, so I posted a story about that on my TikTok as kind of a behind the scenes of that little fiasco. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at that if you want to see that transpire. Uh, but that effectively ends today's vlog. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.